most amazing top tenors, how are you doing today? I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we are revisiting an old favourite YouTuber. Markiplier! Last year we did a top 10 about him and you guys seemed to really really enjoy it so we thought we would give you an update for 2017. Plus, now I've actually met the lad who by the way is really really nice. So let us once again talk about Markiplier, real name Mark Fishback. The man, the myth, the legend. Here are top 10 new facts. In at number 10, his favourite colour is red. Before I really researched into this, many websites had claimed that Mark's favourite colour was green, which does make sense as you can often see him wearing green items of clothing. However, on further research, it seems he is also a big fan of red, until recently not quite making up his mind as to what his favourite colour is. That was until January 2017 when he tweeted, Hear ye, hear ye, I now decree that my favourite colour is red. Glad that's settled. In at number 9, his favourite movie is Terminator 2. Hasta la vista, baby. I don't know why he picked 2 over 1, but it still seems like a fair choice. Anything with Arnold Schwarzenegger absolutely gets my thumbs up. Next up, Markiplier's fluffier friends. Coming in at number 8, he loves dogs. Dogs for the absolute win, yes. Mark has a dog called Chica, a golden retriever, but is also close to his friend Ryan's dog, Lego. Mark rescued Chica when she was around one year old and previously called Sephora. Mark introduced his fans to Chica in a cute video called Markiplier Gets a Puppy. Uploaded in November 2015, the video has had over 2.8 million views and almost 150,000 likes. Mark's family also have two dogs, Maggie and Lucy, and you can see Mark sing and play with them in many of his videos. So cute! In at number 7, he is scared of mannequins and dolls. Markiplier has made it abundantly clear over the course of his YouTube career that he does not like mannequins. No sir! Way back in the day in 2013, Mark uploaded a video called Refuge Mannequins in which he announces that he absolutely hates them. He then played a game called House of Horror Craven Manor when he comes across even more terrifying mannequins. He hates them so much and so famously that some fans have even made compilation videos of him freaking out over them. Another thing he hates coming in at number 6, we have the ocean. In April 2015, Mark uploaded a video called F*** the Ocean Drowning Simulator, which has had over 9 million views. In this video, he plays a game called Drowning Simulator, during which he talks about how much he hates vast bodies of water. In the description for the video, he also writes, I completely and utterly hate the thought of being in the middle of the ocean for any reason. It's liquid death! He also talks about his dislike of the sea in many of his Stranded in the Deep videos. I for one actually love the ocean, but to each their own. He may well hate it, as he has said in many videos that he really doesn't like sharks, which to be honest, sharks are pretty stressful. In at number 5, he's quite short. A totally random fact, I know, but it's hard to know exactly what your favourite YouTubers are like in real life. I always imagined Mark as quite tall for some reason, I guess maybe his deep voice, but when I met him at VidCon, he was just a little bit taller than me, and I'm 5 foot 2. <laughs> The best things, as they say, do come in small packages. I mean, look at Tiny Box Tim. Coming in at number four, Mark was involved in a slight Snapchat scandal. The thing about being famous is that you're under constant scrutiny and fans will do anything to make you notice them. With that in mind, a Snapchat user posted on Tumblr that she had been taken advantage of by Mark. The female in question had sent him topless pictures, as I'm sure many people did, and initially had a Snap conversation with Mark, who later stopped using the social media site. When he started again, the female reportedly accidentally snapped him another topless picture that she says he screen grabbed. Mark categorically denies this and responded to the claims by saying, This person repeatedly sent me pictures of herself. I responded a few times and then stopped responding altogether because of bad vibes. She continued to send me more snaps every so often. Soon after, I deleted Snapchat chat for a long time because it seemed creepy and overwhelming. However, recently I tried to get back on Snapchat for a bit. Soon after, she sent me more pictures of herself topless and even asked me if I wanted her to stop sending them. I told her yes, to stop, and you can confirm that with her. And more importantly, I never screenshot anything. 
period. He added following this that he will never use Snapchat again, so it's kind of a shame. In at number 3, much happier news, he has a taco trophy that he won for making margaritas. Well hey, I feel like this is excellent news. Mark was presented with a taco trophy by TV personality and cook Rachel Ray for having created an amazing margarita at her 2016 taco challenge event. Perhaps the secret to his success is experience, in a video during which he plays the game Ominous, Mark told his viewers that he used to be a bartender, so maybe this is what won in the delicious looking trophy. I don't know. In at number 2, he has a girlfriend called Amy, and she's really nice. As the news is public, I'm sure Mark or Amy would not mind me mentioning their relationship. Amy is a graphic designer and lives in Los Angeles. To be honest, I don't know a great deal about Amy, but we had a conversation at VidCon about Jim, and she seemed like a major babe. On Twitter, she goes by at Iced Dark Roast and seems to very much enjoy iced coffee and Mark. Two excellent things. Finally, coming in at number one of our updated facts about Markiplier, he has ADHD. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, something that Mark confessed to having during a charity live stream. Grade A Andre was very rude about Mark, which isn't okay anyway, but is especially unkind given his diagnosis. Mark's ADHD is something that only really has been briefly referenced by him, but something that I personally would like to hear him talk about more, as I know a lot of people live with the disorder and could do with a prominent spokesperson. So that was our updated Markiplier Top 10. I for one really hope that I'm lucky enough to meet him and Amy again at one of this year's VidCon so then we can chat about this video. But for now, if there are any other facts about Markiplier that I've left off this list, then let me know in the comments section down below. Also, let me know who your favourite YouTubers are. I'm Rebecca Felgate, I'm going to be in the comments section trying to respond to as many comments as I possibly can. But for now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, thumbs up for Mark, share it with a friend, and of course, subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 and Markiplier if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you next time.